So I've decided to take a little bit of a different approach to my float tube um, modding in the sense that I want it to be a little lighter than um, PVC pipes. So what I did here is I added Scotty glue-on pads. So this is a glue-on pad right here that's about um, $5. Then you have this mount that locks is $9. Then I have this, it's a rod holder, they call it I think a rocket launcher, I think it's $8. So uh, basically just press the button underneath and it comes, it comes out of here. I put a PVC pipe in between, so I have two of these. So basically this whole part comes up. So, Scotty rocket launcher, Scotty rocket launcher. This is a C PVC one inch pipe between them with the bolts and nuts here, just drill through. Okay, so how do we mount it? Clicked in, clicked in, and that's it, that is it, then you press the button on the bottom, take it out, and take it out, and that's it, half the weight of a PVC rod holder. It's a little more expensive. These are not Scotty, these rod holders, I don't remember what it was, I just got them on Amazon and this is a obviously a phone um, I'm using that phone as a depth reader with my deeper and fish finder um, here I have a battery that is powering my redneck trolling motor so you can see as another youtuber did I got the, the idea from him I changed the apron with this little tray I put the spacers in there and just a little bit of a support for this um, for this paddle drill paddle I made it myself I didn't buy it uh, the the propeller is very cheap I got a quarter inch um, steel rod from Lowe's this is like an electric clamp or something and basically because of this support you can move it and it's actually pushing the boat instead of you holding that but the drill, the problem is that the drill, the, the MOSFET that's in the trigger, the, the variable speed will burn, burn. It's not meant to be used for a long time. Well, I mean, not even 10 minutes, 5 minutes. So it'll burn quickly. So what I did, I replaced the trigger. This is a forward, it's a polarity reverse switch. So I put it in there instead of the trigger. And this is part of a speed regulator. And we are coming back to this. This is a battery that's about five pounds, not too much. I made it, it looks pretty bad. Actually, it looks like a bomb there. Uh, this is the BMS, this is the battery. It's 5S7P. So I reused uh, 18560 cells from scooter batteries on Craigslist. And this is a speed regulator, a 50 amp, I think, speed regulator. It's like 20 bucks on Amazon. So what I did, instead of using the drill speed regulator, I removed that one. So I'm using the battery, the speed regulator, and I have the wires coming from the speed regulator and from the battery. I also have a little bit of a meter, um, battery meter there. So these go here, and this is not, I, I may change them with a 5-pin, the five pin um, plug because it's not waterproof now or I'll find a solution for that but uh, just turn it on basically well if I turn it on here first and you can move it in every direction. So you don't have to hold the trigger or anything, you just 
use the speed regulator and move it in any direction. Once you're done, I hope I can do this one-handed, take it out of here. That's the whole point. I want it to be, again, as I said, modular. So you put it, basically, put it in there. It's a lot faster and easier with two hands. And here. So that's where it lives. And then you've got the front, um, you've got the front open. Uh, here I did the same thing. I did a um, Scotty mount glue glue on pad plus the mount, and the mount is either a side mount like this or a, a side mount like this or a deck mount. So what I did, I got a Scotty. I don't know. I think it was a rod extender, a rod holder extender. I glued it on permanently in here because you can have two things in it at the same time, and I added on it. Uh, diving reel and I added a, a larger a larger handle basically for um, for increased leverage so that's not my anchor obviously <laughs> I have a two pound anchor um, so all you have to do is just do this and if the anchor drops it blocks right here you can pull it as much as you want and then just bring it back in normally it would be with this handle would be very difficult to bring it in but if you change it to a large handle then it's very easy to bring it back up um, what else is going on here also because these the speed regulator has these uh, these are heat sinks most fats that are getting hot, I put a fan in here that I connected uh, basically to the motor output um, and it it goes with the speed of the motor. The higher the speed of the motor, the, the higher the fan. So if I'm not using the drill, the fan is not uh, on. It's just a simple connection. So basically when I'm done, I calculated about, it takes me about 15 minutes to put this all together and 15 minutes to take it off so when i'm done i remove this this unfortunately stays on the boat all the time which impacts folding a little bit so i remove this then i remove this nut and take off the battery disconnect the battery from the drill disconnect the drill from the pedal um, and then I remove the one mount, two mounts, uh, remove this whole thing from here, just lift it up, press the buttons and lift it up. And that's it. And remove the, the tray. So it takes me about 10 minutes to remove everything and deflate the boat and put it back in the car, 10 to 15 minutes. So yeah, um, it's a little more expensive. You spend some money on this, but it's definitely lighter and you don't have anything hanging under the boat. You don't have any straps. You just click the rod holder in. These I'm not even using it. Maybe for a net, if I'm gonna take a net, I'm not even using them, the, the um, um, original rod holders that I'm using basically as lateral supports for the for this pipe. Um, this is how I put the battery to make sure it doesn't go through the through the seat and the important part is I put on the back of the seat a solid piece of PVC just from Lowe's PVC sheet I don't know, five dollars or something like that just to give support for that battery hanging there in the back. Well, I hope this is helpful, and yeah, that's it. So for a clearer view, these are the individual parts. We're talking about the tray. The tray also has one of these uh, fish rulers that I glue on it. This is the, the rod holder, the main support. As you can see, these parts on the bottom click in the mounts on the board, on the boat. That's the drill pedal. 
and the drill, um, the battery, and then you have anchor mount and two rod holders. If we go back here to the boat, this I can't remove unless I unscrew this mount from the glue-on pad, which is too much trouble, so I just leave it there. And on the other side, it looks just like this. You're left with the two mounts and that rod holder just clicks in.